The Atlantic Basin, in terms of tropical activity over the next week, looks to be rather quiet. National Hurricane Center not tracking any areas of possible development. Now, a big reason for this is an outbreak of Saharan dust. Yeah, you heard me right. Dust from the Sahara Desert, half a world away, is making its way over the Atlantic Basin, and somehow this impacts the hurricane season. So what goes on here, and just how does dust make its way across the ocean towards the United States. Well, this time of the year in an area south of the Saharan Desert called the Sahel, monsoonal storms are quite typical. And when these storms flare up and then eventually collapse, the outflow kicks up dust. It kicks it high up into the atmosphere, lofts it in the atmosphere. Then that dust hitches a ride on trade winds that carries it pretty much due west. It encounters the Bermuda High or the Azores High that continues to push it off towards the west and effectively saturates the mid-levels of the atmosphere in the Atlantic Basin. Now, dry air, dusty air in the mid-levels helps to suppress tropical activity. Tropical storm systems need moist air, and when there's dust around, that dust can choke off tropical development. So this is a good thing for now, keeping development a little bit lower. It's also known to block out the sun's rays, so this can act to help bring down sea surface temperatures, which as you've heard us talking about, they are at record high. So hopefully that could cool things down a little bit. But don't get too excited of this suppressing the season overall. This is typical for July, and it comes to an abrupt end by the end of the month, usually just in time for the season to really start to ramp up. There are also some signals that it may not just be the next week that's quiet in the Atlantic Basin. Dust may continue to pour off the African continent and move to the west, and there are no areas even in the next two weeks that could possibly bring some development. So we'll look for any storm development likely late this month or early into August. So for now, the Saharan dust should keep things rather quiet in the Atlantic. For 13 News Now, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tim Pandagis.